This rowdy group of youths storming the People's Dialogue Forum brought everything to a standstill. <laughs> Seemingly agitated by Kanini Kega's presence at the event, they could be heard shouting and mumbling that Jeremiah Kioni was the rightful party secretary general and Kanini had no business speaking for the party. Kanini Kega on his end, however, saying that Jubilee Party would take action on CUNY's conduct following the incident. We want to say that Jubilee is known as a peaceful party. What we have witnessed here today is totally not Jubilee. We don't fight. We don't have acrimonious disagreements. When, whenever we agree, we agree to disagree. And we always respect our institutions. The behavior that you have seen today of the former Secretary General to bring along goons to come and disrupt an internationally covered function whereby we had dignitaries from all over the world is demeaning to our party. It is something that is totally unacceptable and we want to condemn it with the greatest terms possible and tell them that that is not what you believe believes in confirming the incident the organizers of the forum the center for multi-party democracy condemned keoni in their statement which i quote we take great exception with the conduct of honorable keoni who walked into and disrupted an ongoing session in which honorable kanini was participating end of quote they further proceeded to say that and i quote the CMD Kenya board is seized of the happenings and there will be deliberations on the next course of action on Jubilee Party, end of quote. If you look at where we are... Others present during the event were the Secretary General of UDA Party, Cleophas Malala, who took the platform to defend the party's push to fold affiliate parties under the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance to fold into one. We are not trying to kill uh, multipartism, but we are trying to form a party which will outlive its current leadership. We want to emulate the ANC party of South Africa. The Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi was also among those who graced the event, taking the platform to launch a defense against accusations of misuse of public funds through the establishment of the office of the wife to the Prime Cabinet Secretary. I want to make it very clear that there is no public expenditure that has occurred in the conversation around Tesi Musalia. And for the avoidance of doubt, Mrs. Musalia Mudavadi has been at this process, whether in government, whether I was in government, or whether I was not in government. And we shall not stop supporting people in any part of the country through charitable efforts. David Kagina, K24, Nairobi.